Join me here with my old mucker, Alan Stagg, and we're actually here catfishing. Now, we're on the uh, Six Hines Lake on the Willowcroft Fishery Complex here in Cambridgeshire. We've come down here for a 24-hour session. Now, this lake is very prolific, has a few cats in it, but unfortunately, the conditions today is pretty hot. There's uh, some really sunny patches as well, so we'll be lucky to catch a few, but we've uh, just come down to the lake today, haven't we, Alan? Yep, we've had a good walk around. It's uh, quite busy, unfortunately, George, isn't it? Yeah, it's we're pretty packed, actually. Um, so we've had a good walk around. I've never been here before, so uh, George has shown me around the lake. and We've had a pinpointed a couple of swims. Unfortunately, they're uh, occupied at the moment. So uh, what we've decided to do is uh, get the minimal amount of kit, just what we need for a few hours, round into a swim, get a couple of rods out, and then hopefully uh, the swims um, that we fancy, they're going to become uh, free later, and then we can sort of move around there for the night and, and hopefully bag ourselves a couple of catfish. That sounds good. Uh, so we're going to have a few hours in this room, as we said. Hopefully, a few more fish on the way then. Not the most, not the best netting I've ever done in my life, but that's our first catfish of the session. Uh, he's not that big, but it's certainly proper a good scrap. That's what it's all about. Good stuff. Mm. I don't know actually. As you can see, I'm having trouble holding this guy. But our first cat of the session, very, very happy to record it, 27 pounds. Now, when I hooked this fish, I first thought it was a small carp. How wrong I was. Absolutely over the moon with that. Sorry I can't give you a better view of him, but very, very happy. I took two 16 mil halibut pellets right in the middle. Beautiful stuff. Let's slip it back, try and catch an even bigger one. Good fish this. Give it a little bit of water. Usually they're quite ready as <laughs> he is there. Sometimes they don't take very long to go back in here. But there we go, good start. Let's get a few more and hopefully some a little bit bigger.
session, not the first fish, it's our second fish now. Absolutely roared off on a 216mm outlet pellets, which is a running rig. Very, very happy with this. We're after catfish, but I know there are some uh, nice carp in here. Absolutely stunner, really nicely plated mirror. Very, very happy, get a very spirited fight. One hell of a run, it really tore off. Uh, so yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits. Hopefully, we either get uh, some more catfish or get a few more of these but a bit bigger, I'll be very, very happy indeed. But yeah, nice fish. We'll uh, put her back and hopefully get some more kitty cats. Just going to get the kit packed down now, uh, rods in and sort of move around the other side of the lake. Um, George has had a brilliant start to the session, he's landed a lovely scaly carp um, and also one of our target species, a lovely 27 pound cat. So it's been a really good start, especially considering the pressure on the lake and the conditions. Um, and we're really hopeful that uh, tonight and throughout the, the night and the early hours of the morning that the action is going to continue and we're going to catch some really big catfish. arriving at our pegs so we, we found a little home for the night and uh, as you can see we're sitting down now some lovely bacon sarnies mm. very very happy about very very hungry got my cup of tea though so I'm happy um, so yeah last time you saw us we uh, arrived to the pegs very very hopeful we had a few fish earlier on which I was happy that we managed to blag out um, but unfortunately it's been about four hours now and we haven't had a touch well I say that we've been plagued by tiny little carp so we've had to try and adapt our strategies a bit to cope with that. I've uh, moved on to some really large boily pellets and really slowed down the baiting just to stop bringing them in. Still using PVA bags and that seems to be working at the moment but we'll see as the night goes on. So what, what sort of stuff are you doing? Well I've gone for a completely different approach to George. Um, I've taken off the PVA bags and the pellets because they were just getting whittled down, um, especially the hook baits. Um, and I was a little bit concerned that there wasn't going to be any uh, free bait uh, around the hook to bring the catfish in. So uh, I've uh, got rid of the pellets completely. I've gone for a straight off boilie attack. Um, I've put probably a kilo and a half of boilies in the bottom of the bucket, oiled them up, let them soak it all in for a couple of hours. And um, we've got a couple of channels in front of us. So I've basically put a rod in each of the channels. Uh, the far one I've put probably 100 boilies over the top. Um, and I'm hoping that through the night the catfish are going to come in on those boilies and hopefully we're going to get some action. So I just want to ensure that um, I've got hook baits on for the whole of the night and I'm not sort of in my bag and I'm, and I'm not fishing effectively. So that's what I've gone for, George. That sounds good. I, I think one of us will hopefully catch a catfish through the night. The lake is actually rammed. It's midweek, I thought we'd be absolutely fine on air, but believe it or not, everyone else has the same idea full of people. So if we catch one I'll be very very happy with that result. Um, but we've already had a couple so we're laughing aren't we really but very good so far. Catfish are nocturnal so fingers crossed that we have a few moggies during the night. Excellent well here we go it's the, my first catfish session George had his uh, yesterday a lovely 27 pounder and we've just uh, managed to have this one a couple of minutes ago 28 and a half pounds so really pleased with this one. Uh, first catfish I've caught in quite a while, so um, cracking fight, um, but it's getting fairly warm, so we won't keep it out of the water for very long, and we'll get it straight back. Right, so uh, we've actually moved swims now, um, after that fish that Alan had earlier on, which is very nice by the way. We've decided to move back to the spot we were at yesterday. We just we were sat there. There's plenty. Well, I say plenty. There's far too many small carp in our swim. They're just decimating our bait. So we thought, right, let's pack up and move. We we didn't really have too much of a problem with them in this spot yesterday. So we thought we'd move around and thought we'd give it a few hours just before we leave and just see if we can uh, wangle out another cat. So we've come around here. We've got the bacon on the go. So the most important things are catered for us for sure. 
uh, and we're going to hopefully try and wangle a few out. But yeah, just what we'd uh, update you that we've moved spots now, and for the last few hours, hopefully we can uh, get a few cats. But if not, I'd be quite happy tucking into a bacon sarni. So there we go, that's my second catfish, or should I say kitten. Absolutely lovely fish. I'm absolutely in love with small catfish like this. Probably about three pounds, you can feel that he's been stuffing on pellet. He just took uh, two 16 mil halibut pellets. Absolutely made up for this. Very nice little kitten. Right, let's slip her back. Well, since we've had a few fish now, we thought we might take this time out just to take you through some of the rigs, baits and tactics that we're using here. Uh, so what sort of stuff have you been using throughout the session, Alan? Right, well I've basically been using um, a scaled up cup tactic really, George. Because um, the water's quite intimate, there's lots of channels that the fish can, can pass through. Um, I've gone for, for, for heavy tackle, really. Um, I've got uh, Pro XM light blend mainline on, which is a .40, so very abrasion resistant and strong. So I know if I need to stop a fish in its tracks, then I'm going to be able to do it. Yep. Uh, then I've basically not bothered with a leader due to the fishery rules because they don't uh, allow leg core here. Um, I've basically just got a simple covert leg clip set up there, quick lock swivel, um, then sort of a small covert anti-tangle sleeve as well just to kick the, um, the hook bait out on the cast to make sure it's laying right and avoid tangles. Um, just a, a two ounce bolt bomb, that's more than adequate for any fish in short range. Um, and then the main bit really that uh, of the rig is uh, the hook link material. Um, I've gone for um, 35 pound ultra skin which is our new uh, skinned hook link material in the brown as you can see it's ultra supple um, and I haven't sort of taken any of the coating of that I don't see any need to really on here um, and that will also help protect against the uh, abrasive pads of the catfish whilst keeping in with the fishery rules as well. Um, then on the business end I've gone for a size 4 barbless uh, wide gape talent tip hook um, nice beak point hook I like these when they go in they stay in um, and then on the business end I've just gone for two 18 mil uh, boilies uh, in this case it's just the uh, new Pacific tuna from CC Moore um, and all I've done is um, glug these up with um, some krill amino compound um, just a, a fish extract really that I've allowed the boilies soak in it for sort of five or six hours during during the session and before I just Reeks. kept topping them all. Absolutely stinks um, and all I've been doing really is adding either a small PVA bag or a string or a boilies to this and then sort of scattering a good help in the boilies over the top but it seemed to work last night anyway. So, oh, but do. George has gone for a slightly different approach to me. Haven't you, yeah I'm more of a heathen with my fishing but um, came here well I fished a little bit before and I know the fishing here can get pretty big and pretty brutish. So I'm using the same, exactly the same hook link, the hook link material, however I haven't gone for any fancy pants uh, rig here. It's literally just straight down to a size 2 mugger, it's a proper business, business hook that. Size 2 mugger, obviously barbless, I just nip the barb off it to adhere to the rules. And then I've got three 16mm halibut pellets on there. It's a little bit of a different approach, so I'm using pellet, you're on boilie. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a simple rig. It's a very simple rig, but it certainly works. I don't, I don't like to overcomplicate any of my fishing, but certainly for catfish. Um, so again, that's only what about I don't know how many inches it is, about 10 to 10, 12 inches long. Then I go straight onto the main line. I don't even have a lead clip; it's just a running lead. Now the lead I use is a three ounce lead, and I always make sure I go for a fairly heavy lead when I'm using a running lead setup, simply because I want that to stay still while the fish is moving away. You have too light a lead that's going to move with the fish, and you're not going to get any benefit from a running lead setup. But you know, both different tactics, both of them work equally well. And um, yeah, both winning tactics if you're after a catfish. Well, it's come to the end of the session now. Just packing away all of our gear into the cars. And it's been a really good time, I think. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, don't about yourself. Yeah, been absolutely fantastic. But uh, it's been a bit slow, uh, in fact, it's been very slow for this fishery, but I've actually enjoyed it more because uh, it means I've had to work for the fish a bit more, which I do like doing. So uh, I've done fish on a 27, cat, a very very small cat, probably about two or three pounds, which is actually my favourite fish of the session, and uh, that 15 pound carp, so I'm quite happy with that. Great yourself. Yeah, it's been a really good trip, it's uh, been nice to come up and actually fish for some catfish, I uh, haven't done it for ages, so uh, yeah, really pleased with how the session went, it's been quite busy with anglers, isn't it George? It has been absolutely round, I've never seen it this full, um, so I think, considering the blinding hot heat we've had, 
all the anglers. I think we can call that a success. Yep, absolutely so, brilliant. Very, very happy. Lovely. Nice Thanks a lot for your invite. Well. Not a problem, and we'll get together soon and have another session, brilliant. I think. Lovely. Right, now time for the long old journey home. Yeah.